wanted to take a quick few minutes here and just discuss about water pump removal on a, a small block Chevrolet. Okay, so what I'm doing here now, now this uh, engine has been removed from the vehicle for clarity. We're gonna, what we're going to do here is we're going to remove our pulley. Okay, now you may notice when you're removing your, your fan, your clutch fan and, and the bolts, if you have an electric fan, you won't have a fan bolted to this, but if uh, you will notice that maybe some of the studs might come out, don't panic. No, it's no big deal. And uh, 13 millimeter required. Okay, I'm just gonna pull the pulley off, set them aside, and I'm gonna restore the bolts so we don't lose them. There's nothing wrong with this water pump, but I am uh, rebuilding this engine. Okay, so now there's four bolts holding this unit in here. We got one here, one on the bottom, just directly below it, right here. We got two on the opposite side. So, in uh, in retrospect, you could probably change a water pump with the engine in the vehicle in roughly uh, an hour and a half, two hours. So right now, I'm just loosening off the bolt for our alternator bracket. Uh, we need this out of our way so we can free up our water pump. And uh, a uh, 14 millimeter socket is required for that. I'm just going to hang him out of the way and proceed to removing our water pump. Now 14 millimeter socket required for these guys. If, uh, if you're dealing with a vehicle um, that is equipped with a, a, a two-piece shroud, uh, most of them are as far as I'm concerned. The older ones may not be, but anyway, um, you'll have to unbolt the top portion of your shroud. Uh, in order to gain access. Okay, so there's that one. Directly below them is another. Once you remove your fan from the vehicle, you'll have adequate room to work on it. Um, with your alternator and everything else in place, uh, you might have to, uh, you'll have to disconnect your alternator. Your power steering pump should be able to be just left intact, um, to my recollection. If you do have air conditioning, you'll have to unbolt that. Uh, just the bracket. Your bracket might be interfering with the water pump, so just keep that in mind. And there's a bolt up top here. They're all the same. 14 millimeter. And they need an extension because uh, it's kind of a not a flat surface right here. Notice that I'm using an, act an extra long uh, extension just so I can clear the water pump and kind of zing these bolts out as fast as possible. Here's the bolt. Set them aside. And there's the other one, just like so. And you, you might have a little bit of uh, engine coolant le seeping at this point. Okay. There's probably quite a bit still in it sitting in the cooling jacket. So you'll have to take note on that. Flathead screwdriver or a quarter inch socket required to loosen off those guys here, this clamp, you'll have to remove this hose, and uh, just like so, just pops off, nothing to it. And now you can gain access to your timing chain cover if uh, work is required in, in behind there, which unfortunately this engine does need work in there, so it's got to come off. Be prepared, there, uh, there might be a little bit of coolant stored in here, so just have your, uh, your drain pan handy. Uh, usually, well, this engine has been removed from the vehicle for quite some time, so it should be dry. But uh, your engine more than likely will have some uh, coolant in it. I just spilled a whole bunch of engine coolant all over my pants. The joys of being a mechanic, unfortunately. So, that's okay. I don't mind getting dirty. Now, if it's if it's really stubborn, what you can do is grab a pair of channel lock pliers and just grasp it. It's tighter than what I thought it was. Right, so just be prepared. Bone dry, but yours won't be. So. Be prepared for a mess. If uh, I do personally recommend, uh, if you're anywhere near a grocery store, kindly ask your wife 
if uh, she could kindly pick up a bag of kitty litter that'll soak up any messes on your garage floor because believe me there will be a mess now what you're going to have to do is you have gaskets in behind here okay now these gaskets are old and brittle so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take a putty knife and scrape these off if you are replacing your water pump with the used one let's say maybe you had to gain access to your timing chain cover and your old pump has to go back on well you're going to have to scrape these clean if you're putting in a new pump you'll be alright but you are going to notice that there is remnants of the old gasket against the block right here you got to clean that up you can't leave that stuff on there or you're going to have a leak so you got to clean that up first and foremost don't leave that stuff lingering so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a scraper and I'm going to clean that up Keep doing this until you get all the old gasket material off. Alright, so uh, installation is basically the reverse of the rem removal. Uh, when you get your gaskets, you'll need new gaskets, of course, when you're doing this. Uh, just reinstall. And we'll get a bolt started here. Alright, so when it comes to uh, torquing your fasteners down, you know, kind of go in a, a, a crisscross sequence, so to speak. You know, you're working with this one on the very bottom. Go ahead and jump over to the one on the right hand side at the very top, and then go at the one on the bottom, and then take over here to the left hand side on the very top, and just keep doing that until everything's nice and tight and then torque them down and hook up all your hoses, uh, re, uh, reinstall all the um, all necessary equipment, alternator, power steering pump if it had to be removed, uh, air conditioner, I believe there's a few fasteners and brackets that need to be loosened off if you do have AC. But other than that, when you do get into it, it's not that bad. It may look complicated if you've never done it before, but when you get right to it, it's not a big deal. You will need to dedicate at least an hour and a half to two hours of your time, and you may have to drain uh, maybe half a liter of engine coolant from your radiator. You might. It uh, depends on what kind of mess you like to endure. You're going to have a little bit of engine coolant too, so have some kitty litter handy. And also have um, uh, some uh, containers to catch any fluid.